transportation currently relies mainly on petroleum for fuel. This is a non-renewable source of energy that is in great demand as a result of global development. On the economical side, we look at alternative fuels as a way to mitigate the tension on the supply side in energy demand. On the ecological side, on the other hand, we look at alternative fuels as a way to both improve the local air quality and the global warming aspects. To move on from an all-petroleum system, there are several different technologies. We already know how to transform plant energy into fuel, the great advantage being that the crops grown as fuel absorb a part of the CO2 released by aircraft. But today's biofuels provide 30% less energy than kerosene and freeze too easily. The same is not true for synthetic fuels. Synthetic fuels are produced from a hydrocarbon source using a specific process which first transforms the biomass in a gas and then convert that gas in a liquid fuel. And actually the hydrocarbon source for that type of process can be either biomass or coal or natural gas. Of these three, only biomass resources are renewable. But if we had to rely on today's available crops, the industry's fuel requirements would compete with food production or lead to rampant deforestation. Algae farming is one truly ecological biomass energy solution. But the technology is not ready. What can be done in the meantime? Right now, we can develop technology for synthesizing fuel from gas. Well, we have just flown with an A380 from Filton, UK to Toulouse, France. And that A380 has burned GTL fuel. It's a major step towards testing the synthetic fuel produced from natural gas. GTL has interesting characteristics for local air quality mainly, because when you burn GTL, you produce less particulates. Well, we try to take benefit of uh, having this fuel for the first time available. We have done uh, maximum takeoff power, we have done maximum altitude, maximum speed. We, uh, did, we challenged the engine with acceleration, deceleration, slow and fast at different altitudes. And we also did gravity fuel feed, which was quite challenging at 43,000 feet. And if we can demonstrate it with this brand of 50-50 mixed new kerosene, then we can say it is a viable fuel. GTL is a stepping stone towards BTL that would be produced from biomass using the exact same chemical process that is used for GTL fuel. And BTL could be a very efficient way to move towards a carbon neutral industry. As a consequence, what we have achieved today will be very useful to prepare our future. Today, Airbus is committed to bringing people all over the planet closer together while minimizing the impact on nature.